Cork City, an ancient Celtic settlement and trading outpost for cultures from Norway to Morocco. And Rome, home of the empire, once a seat of power of all the Western world. This film is about two things. Firstly, it's about a road trip from Cork to Rome. And secondly, it's about old sites and old towns. It's about, I suppose, the fact that organizations like the church and business now control these ancient buildings. It's also a fact, however, that a lot of these old places are built upon geometric patterns that exist upon the landscape, which we would call ley lines. Researcher and spiritual counsel Lou Martin has encountered ley lines and sacred places across the globe. That, that these places are powerful. Quite. Yeah. I mean, the, the ley lines, Lou, um, I mean, the. the they're detected everywhere, really. I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're mm -hmm. recognized by ancient cultures like, you know, the, the, the Maya, obviously, uh, mm -hmm. and native indigenous Americans and the Celts, even, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. very aware. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible that, that these times people were in more harmony with, with nature, you know, uh, when, when the ley lines were originally kind of, I would say, founded or mm -hmm. maybe discovered? Yeah, discovered is a good word. Oh, I believe that's true. But I also believe that we're coming back into uh, a time where there's a, a huge cosmic rebalancing of uh, our ability to connect with the energy of the earth. Um, again, if you work with the idea that the earth is conscious, and if you work, uh, what my um, uh, teachers have taught me is we have uh, E-A-R-T-H, the earth, we have H-E-A-R-T, the heart, and there, it's exactly the same vibration uh, uh, energetically. Uh, so if you work with the energy of the earth as a center uh, to uh, open your heart, uh, then you can uh, infuse uh, your energy with the earth and this has been shown scientifically the earth will literally raise its vibration uh, in those moments where people are doing ceremony, doing ritual, getting married, having a funeral, etc, etc. The earth energy literally comes up to support that. So it appears the places upon which these cathedrals and churches in both Cork and Rome and worldwide was decided upon thousands of years in the past. Lou Martin believes these places are without exception upon ley lines and energy centres. And could you talk us maybe, Lou, a bit more about uh, the Irish folklore and earth energies, uh, how that would be connected in, sure. in its own... Sure, sure. Well, honestly, I'm, I'm really kind of new about all of that. I'm still learning about all of that. Um, you know, there's uh, Newgrange, of course. Uh, I'm familiar with uh, living in West Cork, uh, the Drumbeg Stone Circle, etc. Mm -hmm. And basically what you find is uh, fairy rings, uh, wells, etc. Um, there's Gobinets Well that I'm, I'm familiar with, and there are others. Uh, these are places that uh, you know are basically sacred, and and why we call them sacred is because uh, it's where, again, the love, the grace, the peace, uh, the beauty of the earth is most um, available, most uh, accessible, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so um, over the centuries. Uh, you know, the Irish have discovered these places and conscious people, sensitive people have worked with them, uh, spiritual people have worked with them, etc. And again, you can, uh, you know, create healing, uh, you can uh, set an intention, uh, you can, uh, you know, shift your consciousness. Uh, there's a phrase uh, we, we use in uh, terms of um, technology called zero point energy. And um, it's the same idea with, um, with the energy centers uh, where the electromagnetic energy of uh, these power spots uh, is different. Uh, that's, that's one of its uh, characteristics, is different from the energy around it. So again, if you're um, led to a certain place or you go, uh, there's also a, a way of divining where you use uh, what's called a divining rod or L rods, etc. But uh, again, if you, if you are looking for an energy center or if you want to know if some place is one of these zero point energy centers, you can go to them and you can work with uh, uh, any of these uh, techniques and basically it will begin to show you that the energy is, is different uh, than the area around it. So you're literally stepping into a vortex. Uh, is the is the phrase I want to get to with all these energy centers, and honestly, the history of these things is fascinating because um, many of the churches and cathedrals and and spiritual centers of the last several thousand years have been built on these traditional ley lines, these traditional energy centers. 
So um, there's an awareness of this uh, amongst a lot of people that, that these places are powerful. This journey and the time spent visiting these places in Cork and Rome certainly leaves one with an impression or feeling that Lou and the ancients are correct and there is an unseen energy and power available to those that are willing to tune into it.